All right. And once we're clear on the most straightforward setup, now let's make things more interesting and create two of those objects. Yes, we won't have totally dynamic setup yet. That is still coming, where basically we'll just iterate over the list, grab the values, and render everything on a screen. But at least we'll be moving in the right direction. So here's what I want you to do. First, create a object with the same three variables we already used in the previous one. So author, title, and image. Now create a object. In my case, I'm going to call this first book and set them up as properties. Then create a second object and essentially just go to Amazon and get those values. And don't worry about the local image. Just use the external one. It's going to be faster unless you really want to. Just keep in mind, eventually we'll still switch back to a local image option using source. So it doesn't really matter. And then we'll see how we can provide unique values based on our data. So let's start working on that. We're first in the index.js. I want to create two objects. I'm going to go here with const and then first book. That's the object. And then we want to grab all of those values. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to just copy and paste. So I'm going to do it this way. So author. Then we want to grab your title that is equal to this one. And then lastly, I have IMG and that is equal to this string value. We can remove the properties and let's just add for sure that image. Hopefully it's clear that we need to provide all of the props. Okay. That's good. As you can see, we get an error since there are no properties anymore. Don't worry. We'll fix that in a second. So now we want to copy and paste and let's come up with a different name. Of course, we can have two variables with the same name. Then let's navigate to our list. And I'm just going to look for some other random book. And as I said, this one actually is a very good book. Again, this is not some kind of Amazon promotion. I'm just saying it is a good book. So let me grab the title, I guess, first. Then we want to grab the author, by the way, select something. We want to take the title here, provide. So that's the author. And then lastly, we want to get that image. So I'm going to go with copy image address and we just want to provide it here. So copy and paste. And now instead of accessing the variables, we're going to go with first book or the second book. So either of these objects, and we can probably put already two and two together. We'll use basically one object per component. And essentially, we just want to access those properties. So instead of author, I'm going to go here with the first book. And in order to speed this up, I'll just set up multiple cursors. In my case, that is with option and the mouse click. And I'll just say first book dot and then whatever property. And essentially, we want to repeat for a second component as well. So again, same deal. We use multiple cursors, second book, and then dot. Once we save, check it out. Now we have already a dynamic list. Again, it's not totally dynamic, but we're moving in the right direction. And if you take a look at our console log, you'll see the values that we're getting. So these are already different values. The structure is the same, but since we're providing different values to our props, the result that we see on a screen is also different. Structure is the same. The result is different since the values, the data that we're providing is different. 